Hello Taurus, we're ready to do your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Taurus. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing well. We're getting started with the past, present, and future energy of your love life. So in the recent past, Taurus, you have Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. That is what you desire. It is your energy. Six of Pentacles energy is Taurus. So welcome to your reading, Taurus. Two of Wands. You feel as though in the recent past that you need to make a decision. That, you know, you're staying awake at night. You're very aware. Uh, heavy is the head that wears a crown. She's holding the whole world in her hand. And she knows she needs to make a really good decision. Three of Cups energy, I love it. Cancerian energy, Aries energy. So Taurus, what we're seeing here is this energy that you are very, very close to somebody. You feel as though you want your lover to be your best friend and somebody who gives equally. But there is a decision to be made in the recent past. Currently, look at you go from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. Beautiful. That is your ships arriving in the harbor, basically. You can see how tall she is. Her braids are cascading down, meaning that she has absolutely arrived at her destination. She understands that it's time now to harvest what you have, what you've created. Look at chariot card, Cancerian energy moving forward. The emperor drives the chariot. This emperor energy is beautiful. It's very down to earth. It's very nurturing, but you are ready. You are ready for love right now and you have arrived. So two of cups, there you go. Two of cups is a bride and groom card. When we look at the Rider weight deck, that is the, the bride and groom standing holding the cups of wine together. Two of cups is deep levels of love. So that is in your current energy. So we just have a whole, whole bunch of cards that fell out. So for those of you who see, watch me regularly, I like to take that. I think it's a sign. Six of cups energy. Six of cups is oftentimes, um, it's a reconciliation. It's going back and finding happier times. This is your future prediction, is that you're going to, to really get into this energy of being much happier. Now, we do see that you feel conflicted because the Five of Wands is an inner battle that's going on. King of Wands energy, you want somebody who's very fiery and very passionate, but you're also recognizing that you want somebody very nurturing. These two cards fell out. Ten of Pentacles, to me, is you really have someone in mind. You know, you want someone... Uh, that shares your values. Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy, so you want somebody who's going to do that, and you're going to who's going to do the work. And the Five of Swords says that right now the energy for your future is you don't really know if it's possible. You're not optimistic. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is friendly competition. This is actually mean spirited fighting. So I will say that those energies are in your future, but you are at the crossroads and you will make the right decision, okay? So Taurus, look and, let's look and see what the Moonology deck has for you before we clarify this reading. It looks like a wonderful reading. It looks as though you've been through the mill a little bit, but not, not too badly. You're not too worse for wear, to be perfectly honest. Communication is the key, a new moon in Gemini energy. So it really speaks to the fact that you probably have the love that you want in your life right now. And there's been some very, very egocentric fighting. There's been some fighting that's been covert and not so kind. And so as we project into the future, we're seeing that you want to focus internally. What you are attracting is this beautiful energy of manifestation with the Ten of Coins and the Six of Cups. Um, I would say that there is something that needs work here. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands is going to give you a future that's going to be pretty tough. So you have to figure out how to get out of that. But we're going to work on it right now and give you some answers. Six of Pentacles energy. What is this equal give and take about for our beautiful Taurus friends? Well, Taurus, there you are in the reading again. You have that beautiful King of Pentacles energy. You hold yourself in high value. You absolutely bring a lot to the table. And what we see is that you do have a lover who gives a lot in your relationship. 
for whom you have great admiration, great value. You feel as though you need to really have this person in your life. You want them to be in your life. So why do we have the Two of Wands here? What is a decision you have to make? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So timing is everything, as we like to say in astrology and in life in general. The Wheel of Fortune, you are actually waiting to see something, where to go next, what action to take next. You're waiting for the timing to be correct before you step into that new energy. We have the um, Seven of Wands here. So the Seven of Wands is really defending your turf, defending your position, defending your friendship. You know, the best love affairs, and we've often heard this said, right? I married my best friend. And it really looks like that energy is what you want because the Ten of Coins is a marriage. There's a family here doing the work, you know, being with someone you really love. So I get this energy that you probably have the person in your life right now that, that will be good enough for you with some improved communication that is, a, you know, that we're really being called for, that communication really is the key. So now we have the Five of Swords energy that is clarifying the Three of Cups with the Seven of Wands. So you're feeling defensive. You feel as though you get into these ego-driven battles that are really not very nice. You do have the strength, which is Leo energy. You have the strength to get through it, but it does look like communication with your partner is very rough. The way the two of you communicate is very different. You always feel like this person brings a... Um, you know, a knife out. <laughs> you always feel like, oh, that's it. I'm going to get hurt again. But I also think, does Taurus contribute anything to this? Yes. Okay. That's a card that just came out when I asked the question for the clarifier is that a lot of times, Taurus, you really just go silent and you don't communicate. So what spirit is the whole point of this particular type of reading, past, present, and future, is to help you determine what you need to do to get the outcome you want. And we see this five of this energy here, but you are taking a step back, you're taking a rest, but you also need to step up at the proper time. Queen of Pentacles. Well, what did we have right here? You have your Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. You're the King of Pentacles. You're right here. Okay. So we have the Lovers and the Queen of and the King of Pentacles. So it is time to make a choice. Literally, the two choice cards are here. You need to be all in, Taurus. So I feel as though you already know who your lover is, but I feel as though you've really never committed to better communication. You've really always felt like, well, I'll just keep doing what I've always done, and I guess I'll get the same old result that I've always had. So if you want to do, if you want a new result, you have to do different things. So Queen of Pentacles energy, beautiful. So that's your manifestation right there, Taurus. You have your beautiful Capricorn Queen. We have the Hermit card, the Chariot card. Okay, so the Chariot is being clarified by the Hermit card. So you feel all alone as you push forward in your life, as you push forward into the future you want. You're feeling very, uh, very much alone. You're searching for answers. You're searching, you know, you're doing a journey or you're taking that journey inside instead of outside. You're really moving that Chariot a little bit slowly but very methodically with that hermit virgo energy the ace of coins is clarifying oh my gosh an ace of coins can be it signifies the engagement ring and the three of cups is the bridesmaids okay so when we get the ace of pentacles and the three of cups it can mean that you will make a decision to ask somebody to marry you or somebody will ask you to marry them or to make further commitment in the future so why else do we have the Hermit card here for this Chariot card? What is going on? Aw, Four of Wands, you're moving. You don't want to be alone. You are moving towards a better future. You're really looking at things. You're searching for those answers. But again, communication's a key. The Ace of Coins with the Two of Cups, that is like the ring that seals the deal. The Emperor Aries. Oh my God, Aries energy. So you may be dealing with an Aries. You are manifesting your mate. You're absolutely manifesting the person. If they're not already in your life, for some of you they will be. 
but you are really, you're now past that point of making the decision. I really, this is really brilliant energy. So let's see what the energy to clarify the Six of Cups is. The Queen of Swords. So basically what this is saying to us for you, um, Taurus, is that you will cut anything out of your life that doesn't serve you. And so if something doesn't lead to a prop, prosperous sort of marriage in which there's tons of loyalty, there's a happy family, you know, we get it again in the Six of Cups. If you are not happy in a relationship, if you can't move forward and have financial stability and build wealth, you're not going to have it. So, but again, this is your, you know, that Six of Cups energy is Scorpio energy. So again, life and death, you just feel that strongly. So we have the Seven of Swords energy, and I got this in Aries reading too. The Queen of Swords is going to cut anybody or anything out of quote unquote her life. It's energy. Uh, if somebody's, if you find out somebody's lying to us, you're just finished. You're finished. You're just not going to put up with it because we see you taking command here. And so what's underneath the surface is that Five of Swords. Five of Wands energy, and what is Taurus going to, what are the clarifiers to tell us about how Taurus can deal with it? The Two of Cups reversed. Okay, so good. So now you're making a choice that's very logical. The Lovers, the Two of Wands, and you are not going to put up. You want the Two of Cups upright. The Two of Cups, you will pour out the cups of love with somebody who's conflict-ridden and very uh, combative, and somebody who says, you know, sharp-tongued, you know, has a sharp tongue. You're just not going to have it, Taurus. It's not going to be where you're at. You don't want anybody who's passive-aggressive. You are. If you can't have the love you want, you will walk away. And for some of you, that will be your decision. But I think for the most part, all of you are moving in a positive direction. Sometimes it takes both. You walk away from one and into the arms of another. That's something that happens. Knight of Swords energy is clarifying the King of Wands. You know just what you want. You want somebody who's fiery and who's passionate, who's kind, who's sweet, who's family oriented. You definitely want what you want. And here we have the Queen of Wands meets the King of Wands with soulmate clarity. Look at that. Divine partnership. Absolutely the most, it's just beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's take a look and see what we have for this Shaman's Dream Oracle advice for you. We have Fortune's Wheel, Luck and Right Timing. Ooh, it doesn't get any better than that, Taurus. You are at the precipice. You are standing on the edge of the world. It's your oyster. All you have to do is choose the right pearl to go in the oyster. Let's see. Divine Feminine. All right. So there you have it. Taurus, it's been a joy. I hope this reading was helpful. Bye-bye.